Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the order of operations with integers, and we're going to be working with both positive and negative integers. We have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump into number one, where we have negative eight squared divided by two plus six parentheses four times negative two end parentheses. And we'll go through our process starting with parentheses. So do we have any sets of parentheses within that problem where we have to solve something within the parentheses? Yes, at the end, we have four times negative two. Now we do have parentheses at the beginning of the problem around the negative eight, but there's nothing to solve in there. Parentheses around negative numbers help us organize the problem. That way we don't forget we're dealing with a negative or confuse the negative with an operation that we need to perform. Again, it helps keep us organized. So let's solve the parentheses, what's in the parentheses at the end of the problem there, four times negative two. So we have a positive times a negative. That's going to give us a negative. I'll put that negative eight in parentheses. That way it helps us stay organized and we'll bring down everything we did not use. And we will continue to go through our process. So any parentheses where we have to solve something within the parentheses? No. Any exponents? Yes, so that's what we do next. We have negative eight squared. That does not mean negative eight times two. It means negative eight times negative eight. So a negative times a negative equals a positive. So we get 64. Bring down everything we did not use. So we're breaking this problem down step by step in order to get to that final answer. So our process here, do we have any parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes, we have both. 64 divided by 2 and then 6 times negative 8. Whenever you have a number right up against parentheses, it means multiplication. Now multiplication and division are on the same level, so to speak, so we solve from left to right. So 64 divided by 2 comes first. That's going to give us 32 bring down everything we did not use. So any parentheses with something inside that we need to solve? No. Any exponents? No. Multiplication or division? Yes, we have six times negative eight. So a positive six times a negative eight, that's going to give us a negative answer. So negative 48. Bring down the addition sign and the 32. And we wrap things up with 32 plus negative 48. That's going to give us a negative 16 for our final answer. So let's move on to number two, where we have 21 divided by negative three times parentheses eight plus five and parentheses minus four. Let's go through our process. So any parentheses where we have something to solve within those parentheses, Yes, that eight plus five. So we're going to start there. Eight plus five is 13. Bring down everything we did not use. Now keep everything in the same exact order. All right, any parentheses where we have something to solve? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplication or division? Yes, we have both. So solve from left to right. We will do 21 divided by negative three. So we have a positive divided by a negative. That's going to give us a negative result. So we have negative seven here. I'll put it in parentheses to help organize our problem and then bring down everything we did not use. So any parentheses? No. Exponents? No. Multiplication or division? Yes, that's what we do next. So we have negative seven times 13. A negative times a positive equals a negative. That's going to give us negative 91. And bring down our subtraction and the four. So we have negative 91 minus four. So there are different ways to think through this last step as far as subtracting four from negative 91. 
The first being, well, we can think we are subtracting a positive number. We are taking away four. So we're going to move four spots to the left on a number line. Or if we're subtracting integers, we can always add the opposite. So let's add the opposite, which would be adding negative four. So we end up with negative 91 plus negative four, which is the same as negative 91 minus a positive four. Both are going to give us negative 95. And that is our final answer. So there you have it. There's how you solve order of operations problems with integers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.